<laughs> Good morning guys. So to start off, I've uh, damaged my selfie stick so I no longer have, well, selfie stick obviously. So videos will be a little bit more up close and personal I think. But even then, I don't think my distance from the camera has changed a lot. I just have to hold my arm up more now. <laughs> so, this is a bit of a combined video. I need a lot more time to be working on the videos over the Buffalo Stampede weekend. Uh, Sorry, first run in a couple of days. <laughs> um, so, two days ago, finished the Buffalo Stampede Sky Marathon with a personal best of seven hours and 20 minutes. For those that remember last year, it took me nine hours and 40 minutes, which is 40 minutes over the cutoff. Now, I'm taking into account that last year I did the full 42 odd kilometers. This year we couldn't do it, so the course worked out to be 39.7, so it's only a few kilometers shorter, but it's the right call for the event organizers to be doing that to make sure we're all safe. I mean, on the Saturday, people were suffering from hypothermia and I was taking people down from the mountain to make sure they're fine, warm, all of that. So I didn't mind doing 39. <laughs> but in a way, it's not a real PB because I didn't do the same course, but I know the bits I didn't do and they're runnable for me. So I think with that in mind, I still would have had like a one hour 30 to one hour 50 PB, easy. Uh, the bits we missed out on was the galleries up the top of Buffalo. There was just too much damage there. And it's more, of a bottleneck like we sent everyone out in one wave this year last year and previous years they do waves so it'd be like seven seven o'clock ten past seven and then twenty past seven so there's three waves last year I was in the second wave and then this year we just all go at once um, which was quite nice uh, First place finished in like 3 hours 40, which is <laughs> insane. Uh, I don't know how they go down those slippery bits so much. You'll see in a future video exactly what I mean. A uh, bit of damage here as well. This is back at the Mall National Park. Uh, today's training which yesterday was week 11, day one. I did a 30 minute swim. It was supposed to be 45, but I'm tired, I've worked hard. And Buffalo is by far harder than any other training I would do over the weekend. So I was supposed to do 12 to 15 miles on, Saturday, didn't do that. And then Sunday, I was supposed to do like another 10 to 12 miles or so. So it was like basically two back-to-back -back half marathons. Uh, so doing both of those in one run at Buffalo, it's a lot harder. It's like if I did the two back-to-backs here, I would have been done in a combined time of say five hours give or take 
uh, depending where I run. Uh, and that's going slow. Or slow, uh, um, but buffalo, everyone knows what buffalo is like. You hear the event organizers and other people say that uh, it's pretty much the hardest run in the country. It's just so severe. And with all the wind conditions and temperatures, it was really hard. But I absolutely loved it. It was a fantastic weekend. I didn't feel like I pushed myself. I don't know. I think I almost treated it like a training run and not a race. And it's like, get to the start. I had like a few seconds to go to the toilet, get to the start line, and then go. And I met with Megan Brown from Salem District Runners. And we pretty much spent the whole run together besides like one climb or one part of the climb up to clear spot. See how I kicked my ass going up there. Um, but I caught up to her on the downhill, which was nice. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about Buffalo without divulging too much. Uh, today's run, it's gonna be my, probably my last one for the week. There's a oh, lot of debris here. There's a bit going on this week. A uh, few people know what's happening. Uh, so I'm going to do three, maybe four loops. I'll see how I'm feeling. I don't really want to do too much. I've got physio with Sarah for an hour this afternoon. Uh, so I'm hoping that goes well. I might be doing some dry needling just because of my calves. They've been tight for a while. They got tweaked a little bit of buffalo. Um, oh, so much damage here. Yeah, they tweaked a little bit on the 10k buffalo. I was worried I was not going to be able to do the uh, 42, but I uh, only had a couple of problems at the start, and once I was warmed up, I just didn't stop. I just kept going and going and going and going and going. Okay, that's one loop done. I've had a thought while I was uh, off camera there for a bit. I think I am going to aim for four laps and I'm going to do them a little bit differently. Normally I do one that way and then loop back reverse and then again the first way and then reverse for the last one. But I'm thinking I really like the gentle down on this way. Uh, it's nice and cruisy without putting in too much effort and this way I've got more of a climb so there's two parts that you can uh, kind of get onto the track I did the shorter distance of that one so I'm thinking I might actually do the bigger climb to the very top and then come back down it, you'll see on the Strava profile what it looks like it's like this little extra bit, it's like a slither but you can see the difference in uh, elevation so I'm not going to rush it, I'm just going to take it nice and easy and I'll do that one and then the second, the third loop sorry, I will do the shorter entry again and then the last one I'll see how I feel but I might go to the top again. Whew. Good fun. All right, see you soon, guys. Oh my. Still doing the first climb of the second loop. Oh, it's still a mighty climb.
can never show how steep these are. Until you do that. Bye. Hey guys. <sighs> Starting my third loop. Starting to think it might be my last one. Right now I'm up to 3.6 miles. Uh, mostly thinking because legs were getting a bit sore on the last one the cruisy downhill section that I did on the first loop was at an 8 minute mile pace and the one just now was closer to 8.5 to 9 minutes and also, I'm not having the best running gear on at the moment, besides the top. So I've got my old shoes on, I've got my basketball shorts on, which I really need to get rid of because these are the ones that cause chafing. <laughs> so I think by the end of this loop, I'll have decided to just do the three laps but I'm still reaching the target it was like five to seven miles today these miles are harder than <laughs> around town with climbs I think I'm giving myself a lot of excuses but <sighs> it's good to have at least come out and done this um, yeah, so it'll be about 8Ks or so of hills. <laughs> so, yeah. I think I'll still hit 5 miles before the end. Let's see. Yeah, easy. It's like 1.3 miles here. So, I'll be hitting the 5th mile along the stretch going back towards the finish and that will be enough for today um, I could round it up to do six possibly but I think that's enough for now I don't want my legs to be too stuffed for Sarah I know my legs are already gonna hurt during that Massage. <laughs> um, plus, I need to work on this video and clean my car and maybe do some more washing. Uh, get rid of stuff that accumulated over Buffalo and then maybe do some uh, work on. The Buffalo Stampede video. It's going to be a long one. I'm letting you guys know in advance. It might even be an hour. I don't know how much cropping I'm going to do. There's a few videos there where, like there's one in particular, I didn't know I was already recording. I recorded a whole heap of stuff that happened and some of it was quite interesting. You see a couple more falls and Sorry if that's... I just made that worse. That looks better. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah. It'll be interesting to chuck them all into my video editor. And just watch it whenever there's bits where there's not much happening. I'll just cut it out. But most of that footage is from the 10k 
I didn't really record much for the Sky Marathon. I've recorded more today on this small training run than I did for the Sky Marathon. But I'll have a lot to talk about. I did do some scenic videos on the way home. I'm going to chuck them up and do a voice overlay and tell you all about the time Buffalo Briggsy conquered Buffalo Stampede. <sighs> Nearly up to my downhill stretch, or well, one of the first ones anyway. So I think I may leave it at that. May do a small bit before the at the gate, the finish line. Um, yeah, see you soon. Bye. Ooh, three laps is enough. I've gotten my sweat on. Legs don't feel too bad. Heart rate feels good. Breathing isn't so bad. Um, chafing game is starting to occur, so no more laps. Um, yeah, chafe more on a training run than a 42k sky marathon. Go figure! I must train harder than I race lately. Oh, so thanks for watching today's video. I did try to upload daily videos while I was away at Buffalo Stampede, but one two minute video was gonna take. 12 hours and I was using my phone um, yeah so I'll get back into these videos might not be one every day for the rest of this week just a bit on but I'll be getting back into it next week which is week 12 it's a recovery week which is basically halfway through the training program. I think it's 24 weeks with the 24th week being the race week so it's like essentially 12 weeks away from the end of my journey I guess. This journey. <laughs> um, yeah about to hit the fifth mile now and the gate is like right there. Come on tick over. Tick. 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 You have to eventually. You say one. One. There we go. 10.47 mile. Hmm, that's alright. Thank you, Gate. Thank you, National Park. And thank you all. Thanks for watching. <sighs> See you next time.